what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel in another video today we're going to be doing a glorious little flip cup with two colors and then two neutrals here we got black this is just a normal uh, onyx black this is a titanium white a metallic titanium white this is cerulean blue and this is a little bit of green right here and that's what we're doing so how's everybody doing today hope you guys are doing awesome I'm doing great. Having a great day. Black. Of course, as the cups drift, they get a little bit of stuff in there. So I'm not using much of this white because I know that that metallic white kind of causes a lot of uh, cell effects. So I kind of want to ration it out and see what it actually does. Can't use too much black either. So I gotta kinda stay away from that. It's gonna be predominantly blue painting with little accents of white. No, maybe maybe more than just accents. You know, I'm letting these churn through the black. And then the same with the green here. trying to use it up. I don't want to use up a ton of white. That's the color I have the most left. But I want accents. I don't want a big white splooge in the middle of the canvas. All right. <laughs> yep, so all these colors are mixed two parts, pouring medium to one part paint. Uh, the pouring medium I always use is that Artist Loft pouring medium. It just helps create a ton of really cool effects and I, I just love this stuff that it does. I'm gonna just be crazy and kind of disturb the cup. So maybe it's not disturbed enough when I slam it down on the table. You know what, I'm gonna use this white as a base. Cause it causes purling. Let's see if it does. And then I got this little extra black over here. Not any silicone. I probably could have mixed it better. Wow, you can really see my pouring medium right there. All right. Yeah, I mean, that ended up okay. We do have some interesting cells there. I'm trying to look at the lines in the cup and kind of see. I think this would be pretty cool. It's always a gamble though. You never know what you're gonna get. And I don't know, that metallic white is doing some really interesting stuff. I do want brighter colors. Very happy that blue is there. Let's see, Let's see what we're working with before we settle on where we're gonna spin it from. Hmm. Oh, I like, I like this. I also like that too, but I'll just, I mean, maybe it's good where it is. That's what it seems like. Paint, all right, let's do it. Well, we're gonna have a hard time getting to that corner, unfortunately. Maybe not too bad, but. Did we make it? Not quite. So I'll just get some excess paint and I'll just touch it up. As long as it's like, as long as there's paint there, it will. It's very, it's much darker than I anticipated. I know I'm using black, but it's a bright green and a nice bright blue, so I almost thought it would overpower it a little bit. Well, as the cells are popping up though, there are some brighter colors being exposed. So 
so yeah, all right. This might be the, one of those few times I want to use the torch instead of the heat gun. And just see what it does. All the tiny cells that came in there. Just massive amounts of tiny little cells. Pretty much wherever you drag the flame. Now I like that. That is helping break up those lighter blue sections, putting pops of black in there, and creating a lot more contrast. That metallic white has a really cool little shimmer in there. Yeah. Let me get you guys down there. I want you to look at it. It's pretty cool. So I was looking at this thing, and it's beautiful already, but I put the flash on because that metallic white has done some really cool stuff. There's a shimmer in every single color now. Just really cool, tiny little cells everywhere. And the cells all have other colors in it. I'm really liking this area over here. Came out really cool. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.